What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be running through how to use the multi-quiet player mod texture tool. For those of you who are familiar with old versions of the texture tool, the tool works very similarly to how it used to, but there are a few differences. The first thing that's changed is that the tool now asks you to select the MQPM tools output folder instead of the assets folder. The next thing you might notice is that the player character and player outfit options have been separated. This used to be a single option, now you select the player character and the outfit separately. The texture selection is still the same. The process button has been replaced with the apply to outfit button and the shirt checkbox has been replaced with the apply to shirt button. The war paint button is still the same. A new option added to the tool is the ability to retexture fatigues. So now let's do a run through of how to retexture an MGO outfit. So you're already going to want to have output your MGO outfits with the MQPM tool. From there, you're going to want to click the button with the ellipses and choose the folder that you output them to. In my case, it's this MQPM folder, so I'm going to select it and hit OK. Next, you're going to want to choose the character that you output the outfits for and which outfit they are using. So I use Snake and the Standard Fatigues. The next thing you're going to want to do is select the texture from this list. There are a lot of textures, so you might have to scroll through for a while to find one you like. Once you've found one, leave it selected. The last thing you need to do is hit Apply to Outfit. And just like that, it's done. I also installed an outfit over the Fatigue Scarf, so I'm going to choose another texture to apply over that. I'm just going to use this gray texture. If you're using the Naked Snake or T-shirt outfits, you can also apply a texture to the shirt. To do that, just select the outfit that has those outfits installed to it and choose a texture from the list. From there, just click the Apply to Shirt button and it should retexture the shirt. If you want Quiet's war paint effect to appear on her face, select the outfit that you want to apply it to and then click the war paint button. Let's check out what we have so far in game. If I set my character to quiet, with the fatigues, you can see that it applied the war paint to her face. The shirt has been retextured with the texture we chose and the pants have been retextured with the texture we chose. If I switch to the scarf, we can see that the swimsuit here has also been retextured with the gray texture I chose and the war paint was also applied to Quiet's face. Now let's move on to the fatigues functionality of the multi-quiet player mod texture tool. So you'll know that if you use past versions of the multi-quiet player mod, you could use the fatigues for one of Quiet's outfits, but they would always have the tiger stripe camo. Well now, with the new version of the texture tool, you can change which camo they have. So the first thing you'll want to do is choose the character and the outfit that contains the fatigues. Then click Fatigues Camo. From the list that pops up, just choose any of the textures and hit apply. If you have multiple outfits that use the fatigues, just choose the other outfit from the list, hit fatigues camo, and choose another texture. Apply it, and we're done. Let's check out the camos in-game. So now if I set the character to quiet, and choose any of the fatigues as my outfit, we can now see that the fatigues have the golden tiger camo. If I choose the scarf model, they now have the blue urban camo, so you're no longer forced to use the tiger stripe camo. 
The last thing I'm going to cover in this video is in the case that you decide you want to change the textures that are applied to an outfit or the fatigues. And say you've already generated your snakebite file, installed it, and now uninstalled it, and you want to change the textures. Well, what you have to do is go into the folder that you generated the outfits in, go all the way to the end, and set it to sort by type. From here, select all of the FPK and FPKD files and delete them. Now, you can use the tool to edit the textures again and regenerate your snakebite file. After that, the textures should be changed. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope it helped, and I will see you guys in another video.